Hey all, my name is Kurt and I'm here with Trenton. Welcome to SLB Basement Bourbon Bar. And today, Trenton, I thought it'd be a good idea, since we have so many new subscribers, to put our dip our toe into the pool of starting your own bourbon collection for $200. That's a good idea. Now, quite a few other channels have done that. We never have. Yeah. We've never done this. So what is going to be the most fun, <laughs> for me anyways, is how our collections vary from each other, from you and I. Well, and to give you a little bit of context, Kurt told me about this video like last week or yeah. sometime, and he's like, I've been working on my, my list for a week. I just put my list together in a couple minutes when I got here. Yeah, it drives me out of my mind. He drives me nuts with that. But what surprised me is that none of the bottles on his list were the same as any of the bottles on my list. Yes. And I was surprised by that. And, and I'm kind of glad too. And that's legit. Yeah. Because he didn't even see my list. I let him do his list in his 10 minutes. And and it, it was not even, not one bottle was duplicated. So here's what I want. I want you to do, if you can, in the comments, oh God. let us know whose collection is better. Ooh. That's what I want to know. <laughs> Loser will shave their head. Oh no, we're not, gonna, babe. Are we gonna go that far? No, we're not. No. Oh, sorry. Head. Your mom said no. Oh. I'm sorry. Yeah, I think you look good, Paul. <laughs> yeah, you know I'd look good in about anything. That's about right. Oh God. <laughs> At any rate, please let us know. And and of course, if you feel like something needs to be added into a collection or subtracted, you know we appreciate all your recommendations and your opinions. Well, and did you say a price point? $200. $200 to build the collection. We both ended up with six bottles a piece, which I thought was interesting too. Yeah. But, and there's there's a lot of bottles in here that we we did miss only because we didn't have enough money left. So yeah, keep in mind, if you don't see a bottle that you think has to be in a collection, we probably would have put it in there. Maybe if we had, a, if we doubled our budget or gave yeah. ourselves a little bit yeah, more yeah, wiggle yeah. room, but we tried to stay sure. firm. I'm just like a couple bucks under a hundred or under 200 bucks. I'm I one dollar. Okay. One dollar. Now keep in mind, I will say this too, Trent, we can only go by the pricing that we have in, in our yeah. area. Unfortunately, I'm sure it's going to vary in other areas. Yeah. I actually talked to a lot of people that pay a little less for certain things oh, than cool. what we pay. Wild Turkey Rare Breed is one of those. I'm a little irritated. We pay $54, $54. There's people getting it still in the 40s, mid 40s. Wow. So, you know, and of course some will pay more, but we can only go by what we have here and our pricing here. And so that's what we'll do today. And Trent, I'm gonna let you go first. Me? Yeah. I will say I tried to give a lot of variety in my in my six bottles. I think you did too. So I wanted to start out with, with a weeder that's, that's low proof. This is Larceny. Uh, this is the original Larcy. It's not barrel proof. This is a weeded bourbon and it's 92 proof. I think this is around, I actually have a notepad for the first time in my life. Uh, I, I know, I, almost, I know. I almost fell over. Um, this is about 28, 29 bucks in our area. Yeah. And I think this is a very good weeder to start out with. You could also go with Maker's Mark, but I, I'm personally a little bit bigger fan of the Larceny. Uh, line, uh, especially their 92 proof. I think it's a little bit sweeter. Mm -hmm. And if you're getting into weeded bourbons, I think it's a fantastic, a fantastic yeah. option. That's that's an excellent option for a starter weeder. That's for sure. My first bottle is going to floor you, Trent, and I know it will. It did. That's all right. Evan Williams bottled in Bond. Now, as most of you folks know, this really would not rank in any of my top five personally as a sipper. All right, it doesn't really appeal to me on that level. I'm not saying it's a bad sipper. If somebody poured that for me, I would drink it. However, when you're starting a bourbon collection, there is so many uh, different assets with the Evan Williams bottled and bond. It is a fabulous mixer, $15. That is a good price So the point. price point, it's, it's an incredible mixer. And I know tons of you folks out there love it as far as the taste profile concerned, so I put that in first. And so that's a fair point. My next one, I, I had to go with um, Knob Creek 9. Um, I think this is a fantastic way to get into the Knob Creek lineup, and you do get those like le uh, leathery, tobacco-y kind of Jim Beam notes mm -hmm. from this, but and it, it still sweets 100 proof. I think it's like 28, 29 bucks. Yeah, it's still under 30 bucks yeah. there. And I think all my picks are around 28 bucks with a few splurges in there, yeah. but this is fantastic. I think this holds up very nicely to the 12 year for half the price and uh, 20 proof less, I yeah. think. No, 
The 12 year is 100 proof. Correct. Um, but still, this is a very good option um, for uh, getting into the Knob Creek lineup or trying out some different Jim Beam products. Um, you can't you can't go wrong with that. No, you cannot. And I guess this is our time for the no-brainers for you and me, because that's not shocking whatsoever. And this won't be shocking for any of you either. I've got Wild Turkey 101. No. I do. I do. And Trenton, that's $23. And I will tell you, since it took me a week to put this together, I did go and actually check pricing. I, I physically check pricing. That sounds about right. So it's 23 bucks in our area. And for me, I know there's just a few of you that really do not like wild turkey in general and for those I apologize you can you can switch this out with something else but for me for $23 it's stellar yeah I, I love the, I love the flavor profile of your caramel your vanilla that beautiful charred oak note love it 23 bucks solid choice yeah all right next obvious one for me this the old forester 100 proof bourbon I love this one. It's to me, this is like the, the quintessential of of your wild turkey 101. But you yeah. get that like banana, old forester flavor in there, yeah. like a banana and nut bread kind of thing going on. And it's twenty seven, twenty eight dollars, maybe a little bit less. Yeah. Um, and it, you just you just can't go wrong. They also have an eighty six proof. If you're not a huge fan of the hundred proof, you want to stay kind of in the eighties. If you're just getting into bourbon, uh, they have an eighty six proof. That's also very good. But I tend to lean towards the towards the hundred proof. But yeah, I would too. And that's yeah. an, that's an excellent choice. Yeah. My next choice, also I can through <laughs> through Trenton off a little bit, but I had to put it in there. Buffalo Trace. You just had to do it. I, you know what? I it was in, it was out, it was in, it was out, and it was in, it was in, it was out. But at the end of the day. When I'm thinking trying to help somebody to start a collection, this one's a little bit more lower proof, and, and it's a fabulous introduction to bourbon because it's sweet. You got that caramel, you got that toffee. It's about 90 proof. Yeah, if you get it for the right price over here, we can get it for like 24 bucks. So it's it's I put it in there because it's it's just such an easy sipper with great quintessential Buffalo Trace flavors. Now, I gotta dig on this a little bit. Yeah, go ahead. Because I think, even in our area, I found that Buffalo Trace is getting more difficult to get even the regular one. Mm -hmm. Like, a year ago maybe we could buy it by the case, and now it's like I see it by limit one, or I see it and the quantities are a lot lower than what they used to be. Uh, but if you want a Buffalo Trace product, this is probably the most readily available of all of them. Yes. Um, and it's, it's really good for the money. Yeah. The only dig that I have is that like it's just getting a little bit more. Have you found that that it's getting a little bit harder to find? Right? You know, I got uh, two more like a month or two ago. Okay. And, it was, and here when it comes here, it's usually limit two, and I got two more. So okay. as you can see, this is almost done, and I have two more. Gotcha. So I don't really once I have that many, I don't even look anymore. Gotcha. But I know why you said that because it leads up to your next pick. Yeah. Uh, what do you got? You got cast strength next. Okay. So my next one. Oh, old granddad. Okay. I thought you were going with the other one. Uh uh. To, to, to. Well, you have three, I have three. That's right. right. No, 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 no. I thought I thought you were going with that one over there to, oh, to, oh, oh, oh. to prove your point of what should be in the lineup. But go ahead. Yeah. You're fine. Um, my next one, Old Granddad 114. This is, if I had to recommend a cast strength option to folks that are just starting out a collection, to me, this would be my go to. It's 114 proof, around 28 to 32 dollars in our area and it's got pretty much everything that you would want in a in a high proof or a higher proof bourbon it's a high rye mash bill so it's going to be a little bit spicier so if you're not a huge fan of the spice of rye or if you're kind of a little bit more conscious about the proofs that you're drinking this might not be the best option uh but for like mixing cocktails with a higher proof bourbon for I, I drink this neat at home often yeah, it's um, great there's really not much to dislike about it for the for the proof point no. and it's it's pretty readily available. Right. So. Yeah, it, it's, a, it's a great pick. Uh, for my cast strength option, Trenton, I'm putting in Maker's Mark cast strength. This one is 110 proof, my bottle. And I chose it because it is a cast strength option. And also, it's the only bottle in my collection that's actually a weeder. So a weeded okay. yeah. bourbon option as well. And I, you, you know I've talked about this before. I, lo I, I love this bottle. Yeah. I really do. You get the butterscotch, the deep caramel, uh, and for 40 bucks. It's hard to beat that for Great buy. Yeah. So that's my cast strength. You got single barrel next. All right. So my choice for single barrel, I wanted to include one. It's not Blanton's. I did the new Riff single barrel. This one is actually 113 proof. 
I didn't realize this was our pick. Um, but <laughs> I do have another one on the shelf over there. So new Riffs nice. single barrels, I think, are a fantastic bargain for the money. It's a four-year-old bourbon, and they're single barrels, and they're, the proof point on those is really nice. And it is a single barrel, so the, the taste and the, the palate on those are going to be different depending on which sure. bottle you get. Sure. But I have not gotten a single barrel from New Riff that I have been disappointed in. It's mm -hmm. about 50 bucks. So this would be probably my splurge if I were to recommend something for a yeah. for a new yeah. uh, for a new bourbon drinker. That's great. Um, I don't see these on people's lists all that often, and it's a shame because New Riff does really cool stuff, especially yeah. with their finishes. Oh yeah. But their single barrels are awesome. I definitely yes. recommend those. Don't pass them up just because it's a four year doesn't mean that it's going to be bad. That was one of our best barrel picks of 2022. Yeah. That was riff. Yeah. fantastic. All right. My single barrel is Four Roses single barrel. About $42, Trenton. Hunter proof. I picked this because this is the, the particular bottle in, in my collection that is higher rye. That's only 42 bucks. 42 bucks. I would have thought a little bit more. Yeah. That's a great deal. $42. Great deal. And, and it's the higher rye, so you do get some of that caramel, that caramel in there, but it also is going to deliver in those orange notes and other things with the high rye mash bill. And this is one bottle that I will refill every time it, it empties. That's a good one. I love it. If you can find the single barrels, too, like this, the store mm -hmm. picks, Oh yeah. those are usually even better. Yeah. But we don't see Great. those around here. Great. Yep. All right, well, last what's your last? Yeah, what, last I was just going to say that. What's your last but not least, partner? My last but not least, and we've talked about this a lot, is going to be the early times bottled and bond uh obviously 100 proof you get a liter and it's about 28 bucks this has what where did this come in our bourbon madness this came like top five i think yeah it was up there and and, and yeah it, it's done well let's just put it this way it's done very well yeah in any blind taste that we've had this is such a sweet quintessential bourbon in my opinion um, I tend to lean towards the sweeter side. You tend to lean a little bit more towards, I feel like, the oaky, like a nice balanced oak. Um, I don't feel like you get as much oak on this as you would do like maybe a Wild Turkey 101, but mm -hmm. the sweetness no, is you're right. incredible. Mm -hmm. and it's very well balanced. It's readily available. You get a bang for your buck for one liter at 28 bucks. I just, I don't see how you could yeah. miss out on this yeah. one. If you see these, pick them up. Um, I've heard that they're getting a little bit more difficult to find. Unfortunately, this is a Sazerac product. Yeah. Um, so that's well, that's my six. For your info, just so you know, it, with the Buffalo Trace in the early times, that was the duo that moved in and out of my list 17 times before right. I actually finalized it. Yes. So All right. that's a great pick on your part. Uh, a beautiful. A beautiful bourbon. Yeah, I know my list is going to win. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see about that. My last but not least is my splurge bottle, Trenton. Great and I could have I went a few different ways here, and I might get a little, a little razzmatazz. Yeah, I just might get a little razzmatazz for this What pick. does that mean? Um, I might get, you know, I might get, you know, some, some... jeered a little bit in the comments okay. for this one because it's, unfortunately, it's not wild turkey rear breed. Hmm. That's another I one didn't in even and out of my you list. Didn't put that up here. Well, you know what? I will promise you this: if it would be the same price point that we paid before, like thirty-eight dollars, forty dollars, it'd be on here. But Did right you now, thirty bucks. Yes. Wow. Right now, it's fifty-four. Oh, that sucks. So, what I put in there, you know, for the sake of everybody, and what I was thinking was this Old Forester nineteen ten. You're getting down there a little bit with a little bit lower proof again, a ninety-three proof, but it's an extremely sweet. It's it's yeah. just a it's a beautiful bourbon, and it's going to run you about fifty five bucks. So, yeah. I already have a cast strength option here with the Maker's Mark that I would not take out because of the price point for sure, and I didn't want to duplicate another cast strength with a Wild Turkey. So that's why I went with the Old Forester nineteen ten, and, and I didn't have enough money left to put in the Old Darn. Forester nineteen twenty. Well, if we upset so. to like what two two fifty, <laughs> we would have been. I would have been able to put another really good one in there. Right, but we didn't, so we got to stick by the rules. So, and I'm happy with this because this is this is a great option. Yeah, it again, is. It, it's another beautiful sweet sipper, a little bit of a splurge for your two hundred dollar collection. So, at the end of the day, I was happy with what I finalized my list with. But I'm I'm very happy with what you had because mine's better. <laughs> um, you you have you have some good picks out there. But let us know in the comments yeah, we'll who, has find the, out. who has the better we'll who find has the out. better six bottles. I know your mom will be counting. I know that she for will. Sure. And uh, she'll probably be voting for you though. 
unfortunately. Yeah. Let, sure. let us know what six that you would recommend. And if you're a new bourbon beginner, head down to the comments, scroll through them, see if there's a couple bottles down there that you recognize. Yes. I'm sure that some of these are going to get um, a lot of a lot of praise because they're they're all very good. Yeah. So. All right. That's all we got for you today. I hope you enjoyed it. We had a lot of fun putting this together. As always, we ask you to please drink responsibly. And we'll see you next time right down here with Trent and I in the good old basement bourbon bar. See you later.